FTCU A Sun tournament record. Uh, and FTCU also now 29 and 0, going back to 11 12 when they're at least plus 15 in the paint. Uh, upstate on Thursday at 7 p.m. We'll start with Coach and open it up. Uh, I thought one thing we did a little bit better job of today, especially early, was, was not settling for all threes. We did a good job of getting to the paint. Um, early we didn't make any shots, which hurt, but I thought we took pretty good shots. And then once we got in a little rhythm here in the second half, I thought we did a nice job of, of turning stops into transition points, which I thought was important. Then we made a couple shots and got our, our, a little bit of confidence going. I thought uh, Meech did a really good job, and, and Brett and Julian, and Mel, I thought the guys did a nice job of moving the ball. We had some possessions where we, we passed the ball and passed up good shots to get great shots, which is important. So your bigs, I thought tonight, were, you know, pun intended, I thought they were huge for you guys tonight. And Mark Eddie's energy. I mean, we we talked about it all last year. When he brings that energy, he's been on the uptick we talked about. When he plays like that and goes after the ball and, and is effective around the basket, that really helps. And I, I thought, we thought that Meech and even the minutes that Nate played, I thought Nate gave us a presence around the basket. How much spread difference does it when Morant's playing like that and when Norelia comes off the bench and does something like that for you guys? Well, I think it's huge because they do they can they do multiple things. Obviously, um, they can score in the paint, but also they can guard guards if they have to. So I, I feel like they're more mobile, and it really helps our team because I mean, new team jumps higher than anybody we played against, and it makes it a little easier for me to throw in the ball. And Mark Eddie's so active and tips balls around, and just makes saves us kind of in, in some spots where you know we might not have something. He just makes a layup somehow. So I mean, I love playing with them. Joe, Nate, and uh, Meach together on the floor midway through the first half. Give you a little spark. I don't recall seeing them together much. No, not much. And we played Meach at the four. You know, we played a little zone. We had the two big guys. And, and, and Nate, the other thing is, we, you know, Meach does a good job. And Nate is a good target in the high post. He's good against the zone in the high post because he's a good passer. He knows what he's doing. But that, that was just a little time. A lot of it was dependent upon our, our lineups. We played zone. We had those two big guys. Meach, you, you seem to look more comfortable just about every game here lately. How far along have you come in the last couple of weeks, and how are you feeling out there, man? Um, I'm feeling great. Um, I'm just trying to get better every game. I mean, help my teammates get away. You're really fighting for the rebounds, so though. I, I, Joe, I think that's one difference I've really seen in him. Is he's really, really attacking the boards. We, we, we've talked about this since since he got here, I and mean, uh, there's no doubt he can be terrific. He just got to get some confidence, and he needs some minutes out on the court, and minutes are starting to translate into results. And I, I, He's, he's still he's not even close to reaching the ceiling. Yet. We'd all agree on that. Was that a little bit me fire with fire going with the two bigs at all? Because they were you got, you were kind of just stuck in even match with them when you were kind and of small. Just substituting. I mean, just we had a couple guys that were a little bit tired, and, and I just thought with, you know they took one. They they didn't have a great shooting team on the floor at that point. And they came back and they got a little bit of an offensive rhythm and made some threes there for a stretch. Or you know they hit three or four in a row on us and that sort of chased us out of the zone for a little bit. Jamal, how much does it help you, maybe even just personally, when the bigs attack the boards like that? It gives uh -huh. you a chance to do some other things. I mean, it's tremendous. I mean, it's what Coach has been preaching all year, just go after the ball. And I feel like, I mean, Beach has been doing a terrific job, I mean, probably like the past month of going after the ball in practice. And now it's definitely showing every mark. I mean, it, our team, they just give our team a whole different dynamic. Just rebounding, and when we rebound, we can run. I mean, we want to play fast, and that's... The uh, little bit of trash talk going on with Babino had a great game for them. Is that the standard volume of stuff for a game, or is the level a little greater just because you know it's a, it's one you know one game and done for everybody? Um, I, I guess you could uh, you could say that it, that has that has a little extra incentive, but you know we just go out there you know trying to put on for, for both of our respective teams and you know what I'm saying come on with the victory. And obviously that's what we did tonight. So on to the next one, we're going to prepare the same way that we always do. <coughs> Meach, you continue to get in rhythm with Brad a little bit more as it as it goes along. Do you, do you, are, you, are you figuring out when it's coming and stuff more, even more so now than you were a week or two ago? To be honest, um, I don't, I don't. <laughs> it gets hard for me to answer that question because, like, I just look at him, he look at me, and he says no. He just passed it up. Oh, I'll throw it some every time. I'll do it, John. So just John. Coach, there at the end, uh, Ju didn't score for like the last three and a half, four minutes. I mean, how important was that that stretch there at the end to make sure your defense was not letting up? Well, I mean, at one point there, you know, they shot forty six in the first half, and then the shot chart will be interesting because we gave up so many pain, uh, pain point, uh, pain points, and our guys, we, we need to do a better job guarding the ball. We've talked about that. And I thought our energy level for a little bit in the second half got better, but we we can't give up that many laps. Mm -hmm. Meet you. you guys had a 41 to 24 rebounding advantage. Can you talk about your contribution in that and understanding how critical 
that works for you guys? I mean, I just try to go out there every rebound I can. And just fire on. I mean, there was a, a couple I gave away, but I mean, besides that, I went out for every ball I could. Joe, you got upstate now. Thoughts on that matchup? Uh, yeah, I think we, we've. He, he, Ty Green is one guy that there's there's a few guys in the league that can beat you himself, and he's one of them. And you know he's he's terrific. Uh, you have to worry. You know Cannon and Stevens are playing better. Stevens played better. He didn't play great against us, but he's been playing better, scoring the ball. Fred Miller's always a threat. They're experienced in the backcourt. Uh, you know they can. They're very they're very good. We know that. So we'll, we'll be a battle on Thursday night. Brett, you guys really took them to you took them to Woodchat the last time you guys played. Is that kind of is that Something where you go in, you go. Well, if we just do this again, we'll be fine. Or is it something where you kind of have to guard yourself and say, "Hey, they're, they're probably going to come at us better than they did last time." Well, I mean, since it is a tournament, I'm expecting everybody to give the best punch. It's their, you know, winner go home. So they're going to come out with everything we got. They got, and you know, we do the same. Also, like Coach said, Ty Green, he's a great scorer, and we got to contain him as best as we can. And everybody else is a threat, also. But we just got to come out ready to play. Joe, I think that they lead the league in rebounding margin upstate. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yeah. Talk about that. How critical well, I think they, you know they they do a great job, especially defensive rebounding rebound percentage. And I think they're second right behind us in offensive rebounding percentage. So the coaches have those guys going to the backboard. You can, you know, it's deceptive because Buchanan is a big kid. Uh, he, he's you know keep keep him off the glass. Stevens and they run down. And, you know, even Ty Green is a good rebound. He he's a very good defensive rebounder. And offensively, if you don't pay attention, he'll run in there and steal one on on a horse. Jamel, you, you you broke that big giant two game losing streak. How uh, how you guys feel seriously after tonight and then going into the semifinal? Oh, uh, I mean, going on a two game losing streak. I mean, we didn't we didn't really get down on ourselves. I mean, it happened, you know, ups and downs. So, you know, I mean, our energy. I mean, we felt pretty good. You know, practice was you know pretty good energy yesterday. So, you know, I mean, we, we feel good going into the game. You know, we just gotta prepare for them because I mean, it's always a battle. You know, so they have a tough team. They like to get out of transition. I mean, Tiger. Really, He's a great player, so you know we just have to stick to what we do, and obviously it's going to be a fist fight. So we're ready. Anything else for tonight? 